Today is Ash Wednesday for Catholics around the world, marking the start of the season of Lent. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison spoke with parishioners in Scranton about what this holy day means to them. It's a holy day of prayer and fasting for many Christians around the world and across our area. Ash Wednesday services were held at St. Peter's Cathedral in Scranton. Bishop Joseph Bambera led the faithful through Mass. Those attending received ashes as a sign of their mortality as the season of Lent begins, leading up to Easter, the day Jesus Christ is believed to have risen from the dead. Kirk Stensrud is a student at Lackawanna College and says attending this Ash Wednesday Mass was a must for him. It's always been something I do. Uh, my mom always makes sure to tell me where the closest Mass is and uh, what time to go so I can get my ashes done every, every year. The noon Mass at the cathedral drew a large crowd, something parishioners we spoke with were pleasantly surprised to see. I thought Mass was wonderful. I liked the crowd that was there because these, you don't get many people at church these days. So I think that was wonderful. I think it's a beginning. It's a beginning for people to realize that you know, we, we, we've got to get on board and doing all the right things that the good Lord wants us to do. During the 40 days of Lent, some people also choose to fast by giving up certain foods or even bad behaviors. Stop holding like grudges and that, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, I just became like forgiving and all that because I know God would want me to. Others say they plan on doing something extra during Lent. I'm a baseball player, so I'm just going to really make sure to lock in for my season and like really every day be like focused and intent like more than I normally am. Throughout the season of Lent, Bishop Bambera will also visit parishes throughout the Diocese of Scranton for a Lenten holy hour of prayer between now and Easter. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Scranton. The beginning